Alright, this is part two of Hurricane Irma Lakeview Drive debris video. <laughs> it's a lot messier from Coral Ridge to Atlantic than it is from Coral Springs to Coral Ridge. There's a lot more debris laying around. Everybody in my neighborhood's been outside sweeping and leaf blowing and raking all morning. But I had to get me some Dunkin' coffee before I could get into all that. After, what, two, three, four hours sleep at best. Tossing and turning in a puddle of sweat. No air. I wish I was videotaping yesterday when we went out in the middle of the storm, basically. Went out in my brother's Civic and we were, we had to mix it up. We were out and about on the local roads. We were ducking and dipping through neighborhoods. Every time we came across a straight up roadblock, of debris or a fallen tree or something that like we just couldn't get out and move out of the way we'd have to back out turn around and find another path and we took like three four five different paths just to get from Atlantic and Sawgrass a little base of a maneuver there uh, a little from Atlantic and Sawgrass to University and Riverside Oy. People are trying to get around the debris and not crash into each other. It's a little bit easier when you're the only car, but once there's cars next to you, start, stuff starts getting murky. I was zipping around people before, zipping through the debris, but while I'm recording, I'm gonna take it a little easier. One thing, if I was in my rally car, uh, I'm in my mom's sport Elantra. I'm not trying to mess her car up. Oy. All right, let's see if we can get around this guy before the next thing comes. There we go. This lights out shit this this reminds me of old days this is just like back in the day before we ever even had a light here when people used to die here like on a weekly basis and I used to get run over by cars on my bicycle I don't even know if it's okay for me to go are they waiting for me to go Jesus Christ thanks fellas <laughs> oh such a mess around here my neighborhood's still pretty messed up, but I know there are neighbors out here kind of banding together to clean up the neighborhood. Lo and behold, my parents are crippled. They can't do shit. And if, I have to, if I'm going to do anything, it's going to have to be me. My brother went back to Fort Lauderdale. He said he'll come back tomorrow to help me drag the furniture back out, but I guess the yard works all up to me. And I'd like to get out of here and get the hand from my neighbors, hopefully. Everybody's walking their dogs. Dogs are happy to be out in the street. I'm sure everyone's dogs are traumatized. I know mine are. <laughs> the neighborhood doesn't look half bad. It was a lot worse when I left 20 minutes ago to get coffee. You can see people are piling stuff up. They're getting their piles raked up. And of course, my house because nobody's done shit, is still a horrible mess. A horrible, horrible mess. Oy.